We're all immigrants. Everybody in the United States is an immigrant, except for a Native American. The Newburgh's Old Faithful Photo Exhibit, featuring cornerstone resident photographers and seeking to connect our shared immigrant history by focusing on 15 historic city businesses, will be on view in Safe Harbor's lobby at the Ritz this Saturday through October. Some of the portraits that we did are going to be in my show at Ellis Island because what I'm doing are immigrants that have come here after like the 60s, 1960s, so they're new Americans and that's what the show is called and that is the new wing at Ellis Island. This is an amazing community and it has a history both bright and tragic. It's neat. Uh, Newburgh definitely has a, a lot to offer as far as um, what the history itself of Newburgh is. It's a great thing to do. I love doing whatever whatever can do to uh, make history more better you know, for Newburgh. Jill, as a photographer who got someone to donate paper, I got Pentax cameras, and June and the people of Safe Harbors introduced us to these totally cool people. They show me a lot of things with the camera and how to, to work it better. We get to go as a group to different places and hear these amazing histories. What I brought to it was an ability to be able to take the students and help them understand what it was they were actually doing when they walked into the business. What we're doing, they were creating stories that would go along with the history that was being collected at the same time. This is awesome. I love it. It's like going around different organizations that have been around for a long time and taking pictures. It gives me a chance to actually get out and um, I guess see a lot of the different things that Newburgh actually has to offer as far as history and the beauty and very nice landscapes. He would have been under Legs Diamonds Mafia and though the bootlegging started before he took the business over in 1928, he expanded it into prostitution and gambling as well. Anthony Nixon would have been the capo for Northern Orange and Southern Dutchess County called Louis the Gap. And if for some arbitrary reason he liked you, you'd be served. And if he didn't like you, he'd tell you to get the hell out. We still have his nightclub for when he would beat potential customers he didn't like who refused to leave. He was a very colorful character. We have separate trap doors from Prohibition, compartments where they hid alcohol. It had been covered over when Prohibition ended. Around 1932, judging by the newspapers that were used as underlayment, there's another trap door in the manager's office. And underneath the trap door were the 1920s and 30s bottles of alcohol sitting in the sand. Some of the bottles of alcohol were legally produced during Prohibition, but they were intended for export only, such as this bottle of a Calvert Special. It was interesting for them to come in and lay them out and look at the shadows and how the light's going to show and to try to bring the feeling of the place out. 30 years ago, people thought that I was crazy trying to keep this old stuff. I am I'm very happy that there's such an interest in the history now. Probably the most fulfilling thing in my job is making an instrument play for a student. We have a thriving business here in Newburgh. I'm the third generation. I never had any interest in music. I took over after my dad passed away a couple years ago and made a go at it, doing full repairs and rentals and sales of musical instruments. Everything is included, insurance, tax, theft and repairs. If the child gives it up, you're not obligated, you know, at all. But if she keeps going, all your rental money goes toward owning. We have been in business for 75 years. My father-in-law started the business and we were in Lower Broadway. Then my husband took over the store and we moved up to where Broadway became 17K and now we're here. This is a craft that has gone away with many of the older dying musicians or repair techs and I'm hoping to make a career of it the next 20 years of my life. I love the Golden Rail. You got family, friends, everybody knows everybody, everybody's cool. It's just the best bar. You've got a very comfortable, warm, homey feeling. So I travel all over and I always come back. Everybody knows the Golden Rail. It's a statement here. I think so in Newburn. This is literally my first stop. I fly into Newark. I come here before I go home, every time. Fabulous. <laughs> they are the best. They are family. Everybody here is my family. How many days a year are you here? 360 days out of 365. Let's put it that way. I'm almost here every single day for happy hour. I've worked in other places, and it's, it's a little uptight, and it's, 
it's hard and here it's just it's it's easy to bartend. It's a hop cone from Hop Vines. These are cascade hops that uh, eventually will be become part of somebody's brew. This is more like a roadhouse. It's a, it's a place where everybody is welcome, everybody's comfortable. There's nothing ostentatious or pretentious about this place. There are people that started coming to this place in 77 who still come here. It's a real melting pot. We're finally 21 years old. I bought this place in 1995 and it was uh, a five tap bar and we made, immediately uh, added 13 more taps and it became the first craft beer bar of the Hudson Valley. This opened up as a bar in 1977. It was funded by um, proceeds from a place called Georgia Store, which is also part of this project down at the Ritz. We were also in the movie Super Troopers, which is kind of a cult classic. It's up there with Blazing Saddles and Rocky Horror Picture Show, in my estimation. I think it's a great thing to give uh, some of these uh, unfortunate uh, residents a, a, an opportunity to learn a trade. Uh, I and mean, some of these people hadn't picked up a camera before, so to, to get them enthusiastic about something by documenting longtime businesses, I think it's a great thing. Being able to grab some of the beauty that Newberg has and be, being able to kind of put it out there in a different manner so that people can enjoy it as well. I might add a little line to my resume, but other than that, I'm not, I'll be doing this as a, as a hobby, mostly. I'm trying to save up to get money for a, a real professional camera. Because I want to, you know, do this and, you know, I love to do this for a business eventually. So this is really a stepping stone for you? Yes. One of the things that I'm really excited about is the res the community response to everything that we've been posting on Facebook. And I'm hoping that what it's going to do is bring a lot of what I call the old-time Newburgians, people who have lived here for generations, back down into the city, onto Broadway, Lower Broadway. Reporting from Newburgh, Jay Burkey for HVNN.com.